Hi everyone, my name is Shruti and I study mechanical engineering at Curtin University. Today I am going to talk about my research internship with Innovation Central which was based on FinFan airflow optimization. What you are looking at is an LNG processing facility based in Karatha. The process involves use of many heat exchangers that either cool or heat process fluids to ultimately liquefy the natural gas. However, one of the most significant heat exchangers are the air-cooled heat exchangers commonly known as fin fans. There are five process trains at Karatha gas plant and the air-cooled heat exchangers are installed on top of each of these trains. The air-cooled heat exchangers have thinned tubes through which the process fluid flows and hundreds of fans draw ambient air through the tubes which is used to cool the process fluids. Now the problem with the fin fans is that sometimes due to the effect of wind, the hot air from the fan outlet recirculates back to the fan inlet which results in reduction of cooling efficiency and therefore loss in LNG production and therefore loss in revenue. This problem is especially noticeable during summer because the air reaching the fan inlets is already heated up and the recirculation worsens the condition. So the objective of my project was to understand this phenomena of hot air recirculation and identify a solution for it. The approach that I've used to model airflow is CFD which stands for computational fluid dynamics. The first step in CFD is catching a 3D geometry to represent the actual situation. Followed by that is meshing which means dividing the geometry into small discrete cells. My mesh consisted of 1.9 million cells and the computer solved about 36 trillion computations per simulation. Final step before processing is defining boundary conditions such as wind speed, direction and temperature. Based on some site data collected, we found out that the winds during summer most of the time originate from the west. So the results that I'm going to show you next are based on west wind direction with a wind speed of about 6 meters per second. Two maroon blocks on the picture represents the cross section from the side for the two fan banks of train number 5. And quite obviously we can see hot air recirculating. But why does air recirculation happen? This is because high wind speeds create low pressure zone. The area of low pressure zone tends to draw in air faster and especially hot air because it has more energy. This was indicated by the results. As you can see, the side that faces wind direction experiences high degree of hot air recirculation. Similarly, for west wind direction, the area most affected by recirculation is the side of the train which faces the wind directly. To mitigate this problem, we tried to predict the effect of installing solid screens once again by using CFD. So a screen between two fan banks of train number 5 and vertical screens on both sides of the banks. These screens were about 10 meters in height. It appeared that recirculation can be mitigated by these screens, but because the screens are solid and quite long vertically, they cause insufficiency in airflow through the fin fans. Therefore, they still need to run more simulations to optimize the size of the screen, as well as try different screen designs in order to overcome the problem of insufficient airflow. Wire mesh screen is one example that can possibly do this job. Moreover, the effectiveness of the screen also needs to be tested for different wind directions and wind speeds. Thank you very much for listening and I hope you enjoyed this video. Goodbye.